Can you please just, let's just begin with how you came about Hungry Generation and how you came here. So it was actually through Facebook, and I know that's kind of weird. Um, I had a few friends who come here already who would either check in or they would like a video or repost a video that, you know, from here. And so I kind of started seeing that. But at the time, I, you know, I didn't think that I needed to come here. Um, but I started watching, and for about two months, um, I watched the live stream. I watched um, Wednesday service and Sunday service. And finally, like, two months after that, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to show up one day. So I did. Um, it was a Wednesday night, and um, that's how I started coming here. Come on. So are you saying that it is not a, a waste of time to do check-ins or to share videos or to do any of that through social media? No, it's not a waste of time because you don't know, you know, who you, you're impacting, like who you're helping with that. Like I'm sure, you know, whoever checked in and I saw that, they weren't like, oh, you know, it's for her. But they did it for, for a reason, and it's for this because people – will see it and they will feel compelled to come here like I did. And were you saved or were you a believer before uh, you were watching these videos? Um, no, it had actually been over 10 years since I had gone to church. I stopped going when I was really little. Um, but some things happened in my life and I felt like I needed, I needed God. I needed to put it in God's hands other than just try to do it on my own. Um, so when I came here, uh, the very first night that I came for Wednesday service, I actually wanted to leave. Like, I was here 10, 15 minutes, and something was telling me, you know, get up and leave, because this is not for you. And I don't know what it was that was telling me, you know, feeding me lies, but, you know, just because of that, I stayed. And, you know, I met people here um, that same night. The next day, I hung out with them. Um, with a friend that I made, Julie, and um, I just started coming every uh, Friday, not every Friday, but Sunday and Wednesday, and I think it was the fourth or fifth time that I came, I was saved. Come on, come on, you guys. Give God a hand of applause. And I want to emphasize on how much did it help you coming here the first time. You were here on Wednesday, I'm sure nervous. I mean, you got compelled to come, and Julie reached out to you. How, how was that? Did that impact you when she reached out to you and followed up with you? Was that good for you? It was good for me, and it did impact me because after I left, you know, um, it was actually Isabel who introduced me to her. And, you know, if nobody came up to me that night, like, I don't know if I would have come back. You know, I don't know if I would have been like, you know, I feel welcome there. But she introduced me to Julie, and I hung out with Julie the next day. And we just started building a friendship, and, you know, we had a connection. And, um, you know, she's really made a lot possible for me here. So. Come on, give God a hand of applause. And now, can you tell us a little bit about your journey after you received salvation? Have you seen a dramatic change in your life once you uh, gave your life to Christ? I have seen a change, and it's interesting because um, I was having dinner with Julie a few weeks ago, and she was describing the person she met that night that I first came, and she used the word defeated. And that's exactly what I felt like, and I don't feel that way anymore after I gave my life to God. Um, by breaking down my walls, I started building a, a relationship with God. And even though my circumstances haven't changed that much in the last three months or even, you know, the past year, my perspective on things is totally different, like a whole 180. And, you know, that has helped me because I know that whatever life throws at me, I'm not alone in this. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's what matters. Come on. And can, just to fast forward a little bit, tell us that now you are doing host groups and inviting people. And can you tell us a little bit about that and how that's going? So I didn't plan on doing host group because I had just started coming and I was like, okay, like people are going to be like, you don't even know what you're talking about. So why would we go to your host group? <laughs> and so I started off, you know, just inviting family. And so far, that's who is in my host group, my sisters. Um, and it's been interesting because, you know, we're sisters. We've been close growing up, but I've seen them in a new light now. Like they've opened up to me and I've opened up, up to them in ways that I never thought we would you know, talking about God and what God can do in our lives. And um, it wasn't like me at all to do this. It wasn't like me at all to come in the first place. But that's exactly why I needed to do it, because I needed change. And that's what happened. 
Come on, come on. And you doing this with host groups, did that feed the fact that God can use you and God can use you to change other people's lives? Yes. Um, God can use anybody. I didn't feel like I could be used. I was like, you know, like, I don't know if that's for me, but I came to the meeting and I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And I did. And I'm, I'm so glad that I did because um, my sister started coming recently because I started inviting her and, you know, telling her about my experience here. And, you know, she's been here several times now, and she um, was actually saved just a couple weeks ago, too. Yeah. Come on. Let's give God another hand of applause. This is amazing. And this is what it's all about. And Raquel, this is just a reminder to everything that we talk about, ask us to do, even the small check-ins. So if you haven't checked in yet, do it now. Uh, share a video of the service, whatever it is, because here is a live testimony of doing that action. We have someone that got saved and in her family got saved, and then it becomes a ripple effect. So just those small little things that we talk about and we preach about as a vision, it is not a waste amen people's lives are being impacted and the heaven is being populated amen and that is what it's about and last but not least Raquel can you please give your advice or what you'd like to share for those that are watching on live stream or those that are here today what would you advise them um so if what I've said at all has impacted anybody or if you can relate to it in any shape or form you know my advice to you is you need to be surrounded by people who not only want to see you grow and become a better person, but will help you through it. Um, you, you know, like attracts like. So whatever you are, you're attracting. So you need to also, you know, play a part in that. You need to be better. You need to try. You need to give it your all. And you need to make connections with those people. And you can find those people here at Hungry Gen. Amen. Thank you so much, Raquel. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.